Alrighty guys, welcome back to Star Wars Review. Today is the uh, weekly Star Wars recap for July 18th, 2022. So yeah, uh, anyways, last week I talked about um, something I don't remember what I talked about. This week, uh, there isn't a lot of news. Um, mainly, uh, some of the comics for um, October were uh, accidentally uh, revealed. I'm only going to be talking about one, which is the uh, Higher Pelic Phase 2 comic. Uh, so, yeah, but... um. Before I get into all the news, gotta jump into the new releases, which, first the stuff that came out last week, uh, there was the first issue of the Mandalorian comic adaptation, which I thought was fine, um, I did do a review on that, uh, so if that's how, you can check that out, um, also Bounty Hunters issue 25 came out, I have not read that, uh, but coming out this week, uh, some of these release dates might be changed, I don't know, there's a Star Wars issue 25, which will come out July 20th, 2022, has a big, you know, anthology issue, the, um, the, um, 100th, uh, Star Wars, mainline Star Wars comic, uh, since, you know, Marvel took the license back in 2015, uh, so, yeah, and it'll be, um, you know, four stories, you know, this series where my Charles Soul will kind of go back to some of his, uh, previous Star Wars series he did, very excited for that one, uh, definitely Soul's probably my favorite, uh, Star Wars, um, comic writer right now, I'd probably just say, uh, author for publishing stuff in general, uh, but, uh, Darth Vader issue 25 will also come out on July 20th, along with, um, Han Solo and Chewbacca issue 4, uh, I do say the release dates might change, cause there's, these ones are, like, weird, I guess it might come out digitally on the 20th, but aren't coming out in print or something like that, I don't know, uh, they might or might not come out, I have no clue, um, we'll find out next week. So, yeah, but, uh, anyways, let's jump into the news. Like I said, in the, uh, October 2022, uh, Star Wars Marvel comics got, like, accidentally revealed. Uh, I don't think all, not every single one got revealed. A few of them did. I'm not gonna go over all of them, because they'll, uh, probably be, uh, actually revealed this week, so I was just talking about them, uh, next week. But, one of them was the first issue for the Phase 2 Higher Public, um, Marvel series. So I'm going to talk about that, um, which I uh, like the, uh, Phase 1 series. It'll be written by Kevin Scott with art by Aryo Nodito. Uh, but, uh, there's several covers, uh, variant covers and whatnot, uh, accidentally revealed, along with the release date of October 5th, 2022. But also a description which that said, A new chapter begins for Star Wars The High Republic. 150 years before the fall of Starlight, another beacon burns bright in the galaxy. A beacon of faith and spirituality. Jedi, the Pilgrim Moon, the Kyber Heart. But tensions are rising in the Holy City and dark days are to come. Jedi Vildar Mac, a Jedi safe and secure in who he is and what he could be, arrives as Jedi's fragile peace begins to crumble. But a nightmare waits. A nameless terror that will become the stuff of legend. So yeah, I'm definitely excited for this. I haven't read all the uh, Phase 1 Hyper Relic stuff, I'm definitely behind on all that, but uh, the Marvel series from what I've read has been my one of my favorite things, I've really loved it, um, and with, you know, Kevin Scott and Arnio Nandito, who worked on that series, returning for this series, very excited for that, I'm really interested in the premise, uh, definitely seems like uh, Jedi, will, Jedi will be a, a big part of Phase 2, uh, with this series at least, you know, at the start taking place on Jedi, uh, along with the, um, audio drama, The Battle of Jedi, which will be, uh, written by George Mann, who is also writing the Dark Horse Adventures miniseries, uh, The Nameless Terror, uh, which, I was just description for this, a uh, higher like, issue says Nameless Terror, so maybe that series will, uh, take place on Jedi also. Obviously, the Nameless are, you know, like a villain or whatnot from the, uh, Phase 1, but, um, Seems like Jedi will be a big part. Definitely uh, excited for, uh, you know, to see Jedi during this era and whatnot. Uh, so, yeah. Um, but, you know, the uh, comic will come out October 5th, 2022. Very excited for that. Obviously, all the other October 2022 comics, uh, when all of them get fully revealed, most likely later this week, I'll talk about them <clears throat> probably uh, next week on uh, the weekly Star Wars recap for next week. But, uh, Anyways, uh, there's also some, like, rumor stuff, uh, or reports, I guess, uh, more, uh, from, uh, Pespin Bulletin, mainly, about the upcoming, uh, series The Acolyte, uh, 
which they uh, report that the uh, series will start filming in November at uh, Shinefield Studios in the United Kingdom, uh, but also that uh, director uh, Kate Heron uh, will be directing the series, or at least some episodes of the series. Uh, but uh, she directed all six episodes of the MCU Disney Plus series, uh, Loki, or at least its first season. Uh, that series is getting a second season, but I don't think she w- she's returning for the second season. But, you know, I, re- I really love that show. Uh, probably, well, definitely my favorite of the uh, MCU Disney Plus shows they've done so far. So, excited to see what she does with, uh, you know, directing in Star Wars. Uh, obviously, you know, TV directing is very different than uh, movie directing. Um, and, you know, she's not the uh, showrunner of uh, uh, Acolyte. So, you know. Yeah, but she she also, I don't think, was the showrunner for Loki either. So, but, you know, I enjoyed that show. Uh, so, yeah. But uh, also, uh, Bespin Bolton uh, was reporting that uh, the uh, other upcoming Disney Plus uh, Star Wars series, uh, Skeleton Crew, has uh, started filming in California. Uh, so, you know, that's exciting. Um, we haven't got any more uh, casting news. Uh, but, you know, obviously, June Law will probably be the biggest name in that series, with uh, most of the uh, cast probably being uh, younger uh, kids. So, yeah. But, you know, when we get more news on the Acolyte and Skeleton Crew and whatnot, I'll definitely uh, talk about it some more then. But uh, finally, there was the uh, nominations for the Emmys were uh, revealed, and Star Wars has a few nominations. Um, there's uh, four nominations for the Book of Boba Fett, which were um, Outstanding Special Visual Effects in a Season or Movie, Outstanding Sound Editing for a Comedy or Drama Series One Hour, Outstanding Fantasy slash Sci-Fi, costumes, and outstanding stunt coordination for a drama series, limited or anthology series or movie. Uh, so yeah, but uh, Star Wars Visions also got one nomination for an outstanding short form animated program for the episode The Dole. Uh, so yeah, cool that uh, Visions got a nomination and for The Dole, which was probably one of my favorite episodes of that uh, series. Obviously, uh, The Book of Boba Fett didn't get anywhere near the amount of nominations uh both seasons of The Mandalorian got, uh, you know, obviously The Book of Boba Fett was a much weaker, uh, show, so, uh, yeah, but, uh, I'm surprised, you know, they didn't get any nominations for, uh, at least that fifth episode, which was basically an episode of The Mandalorian, and a very good one at that, um, so, yeah, obviously the Obi-Wan Kenobi series, uh, it didn't get nominated, but it was re- released around the cutoff, uh, the Emmys, I believe the cutoff is the very end of May. Uh, so the first two episodes of the Obi-Wan Kenobi series were released, but the rest of the series came out in June. Uh, so I assume we might get some nominations next year, but I don't know if it will, how many it will get. Um, so yeah, as um, this year in the Emmys, uh, the Marvel shows, I don't think really many of them got as many nominations. So uh, yeah, I, I, I don't. No, no, like, big uh, nomination, so, yeah, but, anyways, that will be it for, uh, this one, um, next week I'll probably be talking about the October, uh, Star Wars comics, so, uh, check that out then, obviously there's more news, and that'll be great, uh, it's been very, uh, you know, a dry spell for uh, news-related stuff, and just, honestly, Star Wars stuff in general, since the only one uh, series ended, uh, which makes sense, obviously, um, I would assume either at the end of the month or beginning of August, we'll get another trailer for Andor, and with that coming out at the end of August, uh, pretty much, there'll be so much Star Wars stuff coming out, um, after that, with, obviously, Andor's 12 episodes, so it'll run till, uh, November, uh, The Bad Batch Season 2, which, um, there's no official release date, but on Disney Plus, there was a release date up at one point, was the very end of September, uh, so, you know, obviously, I don't know if that will end up being the actual case, but it'll be that, Tales of the Jedi, uh, six episode, uh, animated, uh, mini-series, or anthology series, um, then in February of next year, The Mandalorian Season 3 starts up, uh, well, so, you know, pretty much, um, if The Bad Batch Season 2 starts at the end of September and is 16 episodes will probably run to, um, January, 
uh, if they do an episode, one episode a week, uh, and so then it'll only be a month <laughs> in between that and the Mandalorian season three, and Jedi Survivor will probably come out around that point. Uh, so you know th- there will be a lot of stuff happening over the uh, next few. Uh, well, after this month, will be nonstop stuff. So, uh, you know, definitely in the uh, in bigger uh, Star Wars stories, not just you know publishing stuff and whatnot. So yeah. Anyways, I'm rambling on now. Um, you can uh, check out last week's episode and everything else I do. I've been sorry, you know, I'll catch you guys in the uh, next one.